Hello everyone. In this video, you will see our pilot in normal cruise flight at 1,000 feet. We will then see the procedure to follow in the event of a tail rotor control failure. For this exercise, preparation is very important and you can see here the trajectory of the helicopter. The pilot takes his time to prepare the final approach. In cruise flight, you may not be aware of your yaw control problem. You may not notice it until you move the pedals. To confirm the control failure, apply power variations. This will make the aircraft nose move to the left as you increase power and to the right as you decrease power. Identify a clear area where you can perform a shallow approach. Aim for the threshold. Ideally, you should have the wind from the right. For this exercise, preparation is important, so don't rush. Below a certain speed, go around is not possible. This minimum speed for this aircraft in these conditions is around 20 knots. This is the reason why you should fly at the recommended 70 knots airspeed. Take your time to reach the final approach. When level flight is established at 70 knots, press the accumulator test button on the console to depressurize the load compensating accumulators. After five seconds, reset the push button to the normal position. This procedure helps to recenter the pedal forces. Now you are all set to intercept your final shallow approach. On final, depending on the wind speed and weight, you may have different amounts of left side slip. Perform your shallow approach. Continue aiming for the threshold. Keep the speed. Make smooth control inputs, especially on the collective. Having the nose to the right is a good sign. If the wind comes from the right, it helps to counter the effect of torque. When you are close to the ground, gradually reduce your airspeed. As you slowly increase the power, the nose will come left. Control the yaw with gentle power changes. When you are aligned with the runway, gently touch down. Keep sliding on the ground. Gently lower the collective until the helicopter stops. Then apply the shutdown procedure. Thanks for listening.